Hey guys, how you doing? I wanna got a crazy one for you. I'm actually going to convert this uh, um, gas uh, old gas hot water heater into a wood one. <laughs> oh, here, let me show you what I got going. Welcome to Noah's Ark in Saw Homestead. I'm going off the grid. Yeah, actually, this project it really didn't take very long. It actually took me longer to, um, to kind of flush out the, the tank than it did for me to rip the guts out of there and uh, and then bring it over here. So uh, that really only took less than an hour. So a pretty quick project. Um, yeah, let me show you how I did it. Okay, let's come over to my junkyard and see I got uh, two hot water tanks. Um, this one here being definitely tells gas because it has a chimney and uh, this one here is electric and uh, so for my wood burning one uh, I guess I'm going to use the the gas because you know it had the burner chimney pipe uh, and it's made uh, for having a fire at the bottom I'll check this out here. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you can how much that you can see. Let the burners rest it out. Uh, let's see, I'm probably gonna remove this whole bottom here. Uh, or maybe just cut out that right there and keep the feet. You know, I'll probably prop it up on blocks anyway. But I guess I need to take all this out. And uh, I guess kind of go from there. Okay, got a basic uh, grinder here with the cutting wheel and got your uh, ear knot safety. Here we go. Woo wee! <laughs> Uh, careful, get your uh, beard on fire or uh, something. <laughs> okay, let's um, see what I got going here. Okay, now I think I'm going to go ahead and take off this gas controller. Who knows, this thermocoupler might still be good. Okay, using that small hammer, uh, I seem to do a lot better than the uh, than the file did. A lot faster too. Okay. Okay, I just kind of made a taco. There we go. There we go. Oh, what is all that? There's a rat's nest in here. Hmm. Oh, let's see if you can see that. Can see light. And I see light, so it's clear pipe. Pretty well. Okay. Uh, I may have to take this fitting off here. Uh, this thing was on there. I had to beat the handle with the hammer to get to even do anything. Huh. Hey, these look like still some good brass fittings. I take those off too. Huh. Okay, I see that goes directly into the tank. I might just leave it like this. I need a I need a hot shower today. Uh,
Okay, I think I'm gonna try to flush it now. I'm gonna stick this uh, uh, pipe here. All right, I'm gonna stick this uh, pipe here on the top. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of show you how uh, I transfer uh, water around the property. Um, I use this uh, pipe that's leading all the way back to my creek, and I. Uh, this is right size to fit in the end of this pump. Sometimes I need to get a prime it with this uh, pump here and let's get it going. Okay, I'm gonna have to track it back. Okay, I think it's this one. We'll find out. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. I think I had too high when it's trying to do the siphon. All right, we got running creek water. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of shake it up. Don't let it fall on you. We're trying to uh, clear some of that gunk out of there. Okay, while well, it's uh, filling, I'm gonna sit up right here. Remember watching my last video, I used this as my uh, water pressure. Um, where the water go, flows into here, and then got the pump, and it goes up to my sprayer. So, so I'm gonna make a little fire ring right here, and hopefully, um, the little nozzle on the my tank can go and pour into the hole. All right, I'm just gonna. Say, uh, it's probably a good idea to have as level as possible. Uh, I hate for it to fall on you or in your equipment. Especially, it might be hot water, too. Yeah, let's see how bad this looks uh, after I shook it up. Yeah. A little bit of gunk coming out. Okay, I was just looking for a water hose, old piece of water hose to connect uh, that to here, but this is really all I could find. Uh, but I guess I gotta figure out uh, uh, what works. I'm just gonna connect that here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start with a little charcoal here. I wish I, this actually raised up another block, but uh. I don't have the energy for that right now. Okay, I got fresh water going in. Here we go, fire in the hole. I also got a, a piece of a pine knot right here. You know, it's like some of that condensed pine wood. Let's put this on. Definitely gotta see. See what happens. All right, you see, I done got it lit going. Got the water, some water going in. And uh, hopefully, this is gonna, um, you know, because it has the chimney. Oh, yeah, I see it coming out the chimney here. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, it's gonna heat up my water from my tank from last video, so I can uh, take my shower. All right, I definitely gotta say the uh, disclaimer. Definitely don't do this at home, cause uh, if you don't uh, have that uh, release valve taken out uh this thing could blow up so uh don't blow yourselves up I'm telling you so i'm not recommending this this is just what i'm doing all right let me uh yeah i don't know maybe i can take one of these off or something like uh that and put like a uh, a bobber 
So I have no idea how, how full it is. What's that uh, saying? N uh, necessity leads to invention. And I need a shower. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little warm right here. The heat's coming up out of here and hitting this. Uh, I'm going to put a little full. Let that help. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like there's still a little bit of um, rust bits coming out. So I'm going to use this sock here as a, um, as a filter. I'm just going to stick it over the end here. And, uh, and hopefully that will kind of filter out... Uh, anything well let's try it out again it's been about 50 minutes oh it's getting hot right there though see how this filter works yeah it's definitely uh warm water i think that's doable all right Hot water, time to take a shower. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, just doing a little follow up. Okay, you see, remember I had a full on here? Uh, well, just having this uh, little door, I had forgot all about it. Uh, that really helped it from not uh, getting hot right here. And also, you can kind of see, uh, I had this thing on there, and uh, it fell off, and then, but luckily the threads uh, screwed right onto that. So that, and I'm actually liking this technique of having um, that uh, uh, valve on there. And uh, that's a video. Uh, if you didn't watch that other one, um, I should have showed you how this worked. Just uh, cut to my battery here, and yeah, and got shower. This is really going to be a game changer for me. Ah, here's a little update. See, I kind of put it up on a nice uh, metal uh, uh, piece there. Some steps. I can kind of walk up here. Put the thing in. I did put uh, these uh, stakes just to make sure I would hate for this thing to fall on me while I'm trying to, you know, put uh, my fire in. But yeah, kept them uh, helping out on uh, because I got my new uh, bathroom tent going. Yeah, it's like I'm a uh, you got a giant bathroom going. It's like I live in a mansion. A uh, couple little things I'm doing now is uh, I'm going to put some bigger stakes uh, around uh, my tank. And, um, <laughs> and, and lately, uh, I was thinking about doing like a, I was doing a, like a dipstick thing to figure out how full it was. But now I just fill it all the way up until... Water's coming out of the top, so I'm not even worried about that no more. Hey guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Maybe even leave a comment. These videos are for entertainment and inspirational purposes, only to uh, inspire you. Have a blessed day.